Lenny Kravitz is back with a brand new music video for his single Honey, uh, which came out of the album Blue Electric Light, which was from a couple of months ago. Uh, one that completely passed me by. In fact, I recorded an entire intro to this video without realizing that the album and this song have already been out for a few months. So I had to go back and do a bit of research. Um, I'm quite impressed though, having done a bit of research on this album now, the amount of instruments this guy plays on this is crazy. He plays like almost all of it. I have the Wikipedia page up right now and it says lead vocals, backing vocals, all track, bass, strings, moog, timpani, drums, rhythm guitar, claps, electric guitar, bongo drums, maracas, synthesizer, drum machine, cowbell, tramps, Fender Rose piano, drum programming, piano, Hammond B3 organ, sitar, sitar, <laughs> uh, solo guitar, lead guitar, castanets, claves, and programming. Christ alive, that is a list of instruments right there. Gonna have Beck salivating with that one, jeez. Um, so yeah, very impressed. Uh, Lenny Kravitz is just one of those guys that I have never, whilst I'm well aware of all the like big songs that he's released, you know, the ones that like fly and it ain't over till it's over, are you going to go my way? These ones I've definitely heard loads and I've always liked them too. I just for some reason have never gone out of my way to seek them out. Don't know why, but uh, I was interested because I was like, this guy has been around for ages. It's kind of cool. He's still creating music. Saw so this album has apparently got quite good reviews so screw it i thought why not um so yeah i guess without any further rambling from myself let's jump into and listen to honey for the first time for me also that is a very impressively good looking 60 year old as far as i'm aware right fair play ah there you go Has such a pleasing funk groove to get straight in there. So nice. Also, straight away, he comes across very likable. Jesus, look at that six pack. What? Oh, it's been ages since I've listened to a like a nice, really like classic funk inspired track. To have been released. That's, that's really, really pleasing. He's got a great voice. It's a nice, subtle drum bit to start us off with. Not reinventing the wheel, but I'm enjoying the vibe. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I love that little synth. At the same time as the video where he's spraying the hose around. I mean, this looks like this video is just going to be him around in a house somewhere that they've hired but you know he's got a lot of interesting costumes this seems to be quite well shot he's a charismatic dude i'm here for it i really like that synth tone oh a little variation there Oh, a little bit of acoustic in there. It's a set of instruments I wouldn't necessarily have expected, like that synth and the acoustic coming in there, but it really does. It kind of takes it away from the like obvious cliches of the genre and, I don't know, elevates it to a bit. And some of the like little changes they've been doing with his vocals as well also quite like it. Kind of Again, it just makes it more unique. This, he strikes me as a dude who is used to being pretty and being like doing photo shoots and the like. It's, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've just realized, is he wearing chaps? I like how stripped back the verses are as well. <laughs> what a strange thing to pause on. Uh, yeah, I really like how stripped back the verses are. It really allows him to sort of like come across to you vocally, like really interesting and sort of charismatically. It like lets them sort of stick up in the mix and where people are going to pay their attention to. And yeah, I'm expecting that we're going to end up with some blistering guitar solos at some point. God damn it. Oh, okay. The transition from the verses into the chorus is really, really nice. That acoustic is doing a lot of work to sort of really separate those sections. 
Um, and I guess we're just going to watch Lenny Kravitz hump her camera for the next couple of minutes. <laughs> To be fair, I, as a like 15 year old, I think the first time I ever got exposed to Lenny Kravitz, I don't know if any of you have seen it, there's the video where he's on stage strutting and stuff as he does, and he has a, his leather trousers just go, just split in half, and everything came flying out. Man was not wearing pants underneath there, and there is a couple of shots where that guy is just showing the audience what he's packing, and it at the time was so funny to me. It's just such a perfectly like in time shot that I don't know. I've retained that. So it's just kind of funny him just like gyrating around in leather trousers still. He did not learn his lesson. It don't take much to turn me on. I can tell. Someone's going to have to tell me in the comments whether the, the uh, woman who is currently having her fingers sucked and taking pictures of him, is that like his real life spouse? I, I don't know. I'd be curious. It's right. I kind of hope so. Oh, okay. Love that brass section jumping in there. Just as this song was starting to give you everything it, it had, uh, it jumped into that section. A very, very interesting staccato, which kind of works with the um, quite staccato nature of the rest of it. You've got like the kind of flowing vocals over the top, and then you've got these kind of like sustained piano chords. But the rest of it is all quite rigidly staccato, so it's nice to see those um, brass section like jump in with that. <laughs> that synth line reminds me a little bit of the synth line at the beginning of um is it hit that by the offspring i think <laughs> it's such a good vibe this song Gotta be his partner, right? That was great. I really, really like that. It had this like tongue in cheekness to it. Like video wise, it's hilarious because it is basically just him. I mean, it looked a little bit like that might have been a recording studio. And if so, that is like one of the nicest recording studios I have ever seen. That sounds awesome to like record there and so on and so forth. It looks a lot like it's mostly just him getting naked and being filmed by his wife in various um, strange costumes with a body that is not fair for a 60 year old to have. Fair play to him for that. Um, but no, in terms of, again, it's that veterancy that everything sounds so effortless, you know, like he just knows music just pours through on that one. I was expecting it to be like a kind of blinding guitar solo, but it didn't need one, actually. It didn't really stray that far away from the classic funk formula, full stop. I got all hyped up about that brass section. It lasted like two bars. Uh, I mean, I know the song was only like 324, so it's not a particularly long song, but I know it had just the right amount of variation in there. That synth line was an interesting stylistic choice for that song, but one that I think works very well, actually. It just added that little tongue-in-cheek feature to it. It was a nice way to sort of like segment into the other bits. You had that bah, 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 one time, then you get the next repeat round. It's a more extended version of that, and that leads you into the verses or the chorus. Um, so I, I like that as a creative decision. It was very chill. His vocals are great. The lyrics about him just like, oh, it doesn't take much to get me horny. I'm like, I can tell. Um, but, you know, hey, I imagine after 40 years of recording music, finding anything original to say is probably quite difficult. So uh, screw it. I, um, yeah, I did see a review that said, you know, he's not reinventing the wheel, but he's prioritizing good vibes and just classic funk inspired stuff, which is something that doesn't get released all that much anymore, to be honest, unless it's from a legend like this. Uh, and I think that's a pretty fair analogy. It was definitely good vibes. It's one of those songs I'm definitely going to stick it on my driving playlist. I get the feeling just cruising down the motorway with, um, and that comes on in a shuffle. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna vibe out. I liked it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go and check out this entire album now. 
if that is something that you guys would be interested in seeing, then maybe I will save it and we'll do a video on the album, but we'll have to see in the comments. Do you think this lives up to, like, you know, his legendary status, or is it more of a, like, cruising kind of situation? I'm curious to know. So other than that, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.